where the answer is reliability is the most important, then responsiveness, and then relationship building. In, in, a, in a very simple example, uh, getting a cup of coffee, right? Go, going to Starbucks, getting a cup of coffee. Reliability is the quality of the coffee. It doesn't matter how quickly you give the coffee or whether you're friendly. If the coffee doesn't taste good, you know, that's a bad experience, okay? So it's got to be a great coffee. You deliver it quickly, and then hopefully, hopefully during the experience, they personalize it towards you in some way, and that makes it a little bit more memorable. What the research has also shown is that the recommendations are driven by great experiences. Recommendations are not driven by good experiences. So if you look at this um, diagram here, on a 1 to 10 scale, 1 is horrible experience. So they asked 22,000 customers in this particular research to choose an organization they do business with, a hairdresser, um, a hotel, uh, a bank, uh, a restaurant, and rate it on a 1 to 10 scale. And then later on in the survey, they said, would you recommend this service organization? And so what you'll see those little numbers in the black are the numbers of customers in each of those categories that said, yes, I will recommend them. So one out of 10 is horrible service. 10 is amazing. Uh, it's so good, I would like to have children with employees from that organization. <laughs> and if you're a 9 or a 10 on that scale, 90% of customers are going to recommend you. So if they come to Whistler and they have a 9 or 10 experience, 90% of them are going to recommend them. If it's, uh, if it's a 7 out of 10, which is OK, isn't it? Only 1 in 5 of customers. Look at the jump from a 7 to a 9. It's quite phenomenal, isn't it? So good doesn't really get you anywhere at all. It has to be that 9 or 10 experience. Also, you're probably thinking, what does it go up at the end there in a 1? And I think it's because people recommend companies they hate to people they hate. And that's worth remembering too. What's also that diagram shows is that we can link this to the three R's. That um, if you're reliable, you're probably at a six or a seven. If you're reliable and responsive, the research shows you're uh, at an eight. Maybe a nine or a 10 sometimes if the customer's in a hurry and they don't really want a conversation. But what the research shows, if you're reliable, responsive, and you build the relationship, then you're very likely to get a nine or a 10. And so even though I said relationships was the least important of the three R's, it's the thing that's going to get customers coming back, isn't it? But only if you're reliable and responsive first.